Alrighty, we are back for episode 39 of Kenshi 101, and today we are in the, uh, well, right at the edge of the Iron Valleys and Skinner's Rome, in the Holy Nason, and we are going to try to take out Narco's trap. So, of the Holy Nason, you got Sack and Batiste, which we've already, you know, conquered for the Shek Kingdom, our allies. And you have a couple military bases over here. You have Iron Valleys. You have Reverse. And then you have a uh, pass over here that's guarded by the Holy Nation. So the pass, Iron uh, Narcos Trap, Reverse, and these two cities are sort of like the main places to take out before you hit Blister Hill. And this one is one of the most important ones. Um, uh, it's heavily guarded, and it's heavily guarded for a reason. So we are just going to full send this, because it is acid raining, and that means the longer this takes, the more damage we take from acid rain. So we are literally just going to charge in there, gun the blaze, and kill them all. Charge. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully they're gonna not all of us pass and get hit too much, like right here. I definitely want to keep an eye on Hammett to make sure he doesn't drop that guy. <laughs> or the golem. Okay. Uh, nobody's too fucked up. Got limb damage. Oh. He has a really fucked up arm. He might lose that arm if he takes another hit to it. And it's just the arm, so he's still up and fighting. Alright. Uh, so, not beep. Beepy? Yes. You will start looting. We do not want these guys getting up anytime soon. Also, uh, yeah. There is going to be a ton of high paladins here, and a kind of like higher level paladins. This place is much better defended than the place we took out last episode. Uh, yeah, it's probably, yeah, nothing good. Hmm. Okay, next. So, because there is acid rain, uh, these guys are going to be taking constant damage just from being sitting out here in the acid rain. So, while they're unconscious, they're going to be taking more damage, which means a lot of them are going to die very quickly. Especially since they aren't getting medical or treatment for their wounds. Uh... So it's just gonna get worse and worse and worse until they die. Like this guy. Like he doesn't got long to live. Let's get as many people as possible in here, so we can not take acid damage. Let's loot that guy real quick. He doesn't get up and stab us. And you two. Uh, he's got actual armor. Is this like a... Yeah, it's a high pallet. Right, anybody on the roof? We were getting shot. Guess not. It's probably from the walls then. Yeah. Sure.
might be someone under all that mess, maybe? Uh, I think I loot that guy. I, um... Okay. Yeah, there are some over here. That's where I saw it. Okay. Under all that mess. Uh, you will do. Okay, so you guys can sit here for a second. Hopefully you're all good. Uh, uh, yes. Splint! Yes! Yes! Okay, so hopefully... Come on, Splint over engineering. It's half of them, maybe. Already have? More than half. Right. You're suiting, that tells me. Okay. Rain's off. So, we'll have the pack animals sit right here by the gate. Oh, fuck. Uh... Fuck him up. Ugh. Heal. Alright, hold. Heal. Stop moving. Alright, go in here. Any in here? No. Go in here. Any in here? No. No one in the prison that appears? Odd. I expected more people. Oh, he still got a sword. What I'm noticing is these guys are mostly not getting up. Mostly guys in here that are getting up. Okay, there you go. Alrighty. So that's pretty much all of them taken out at this point. Now we just gotta loot. And then go into... Oh. Is this guy like the boss? He's a high paladin. Maybe. Yes. Oh. Come in here. Come over here. Who still holds the swords? Glaceon? I guess. So, trade, 
Actually, you guys should probably fuck that guy up. Alright. Let's just trade it. Okay, non trading lanes. I'm thinking, credit to this guy, Glaceon, and then some Glaceon elsewhere. But half of you aren't in range. That's okay. Then trade you to Umbreon. We probably want to keep these two, but the rest can go. And looking at this, they're not all gonna fit. And Glaceon. But with Sylveon and Glaceon combined, we can make most of it fit, if not all of it. Okay, not all of it. Uh, I'm gonna do this. Uh, that seems like somewhat obvious. Actually, put them out of the way. Get you with Glaceon. Oh boy. These guys just cannot, cannot function right now. This is All right. These are both standard. We probably don't want to keep those. And one of you still has some, yes. You trade with Sylveon. And is that the last of them? I think that is. I think that is. Now we pick the locks. No, all right, let's pick that one. Okay, that one's picked. Huh. Is that a high pallet? It's a high pallet. What are you doing in here? I came in here earlier. It was, it was empty. Were you, like, hiding in a bed somewhere?
Pick up. Go down. Pick up. Go down. Pick a lock. Pick a lock. Well, this is going pretty good. Holy Nate's gonna fall apart. The main thing I'm worried about is their capital. They have a lot of people guarding their leader. That's going to be bloody. And it's also sort of like the design of it is not bad. Defensively wise. Like, it's a pretty smart design if you want to build a defensive area. Uh, nothing on any. Oh, yep. One lock. Okay, got that one. That's not locked. That's not locked. Not to be locked. Random legs, okay. Alrighty then. Let's have these guys hang out in here for now. On hold. And have like one person go around and loot everything and then take it to the animals. Alright, that's worth 280. Eh. Nah. Wait, um, er, nah, that's ah, fine, it's big, but I can do it, that came out wrong. Uh, yeah, yeah, I will take that. Who to trade with? Uh, we can start with EVC. Okay, EVC is completely empty. That makes us a bit EV. Then trade EV with uh, Umbreon. Don't want to keep any of this, I don't think. Uh, oh. Probably about as good as we're gonna get. And the other guy's gonna have to. Wait, 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 wait. I want. Mm. Ah, he's trying to marshal arts. They have alcohol in theory, but in practice they don't. They have stores for alcohol, but they have none in stock. Odd. Either they want to be prepared for the thing that they'd never get, or they get it and they drink it all. Why is the room always gone? Oh, that's why. I'm not sure what it is. Do I think they drink a whole lot, or do I think they never do? Hmm. Lore in this game is not very uh, easy to ascertain sometimes. Even if you read the books, as I occasionally do, usually don't bother. Come on. I can. S do I have to have to do it from the right angle? Come on. Alrighty. 
Some of these are worth stealing, at least. I suggest maybe... Might be... Okay. He needs to be taken out. Oh, right. If he's there... What about your friend? You got a friend here? Go in here, keep Robo Boop, and send these guys over here. Put you guys on hold except for Robo Boop. Robo Boop can, uh. Oh, wait, no, they're not stuck. Um... Ah... Again, with the books, it should be worth something, but aren't, sadly. I think I mentioned this in a previous episode. But, uh, once upon a time, there was a, uh, big disagreement between some German princes because one of them stole a book. And it led to basically a trial between them at a monastery. And then so many people who were, like, nobility attended that the floor broke. It was like a hundred plus people between all the nobles and all of their servants and all of the monks who were there. This is just like kind of crazy. <laughs> kind of crazy. It's like, what are you going to do today? Uh, I think I'll watch reality TV. Oh, wait, that hasn't been invented yet. Um, oh, uh, I know. I'll watch this thing where these two people fight over a lewd book. <laughs> yeah, that sounds great. Let's do that. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. But funny. Except for, you know, all the people dying. That was, you know, a bit less funny. Or more funny depending on your sense of humor. But I'm thinking less funny. Like, if they just fell in the shit and everyone was fine, I think it'd be funnier. If they fell in the shit, oh, well, they did fall in the shit, and, like, tons of, like, 50-plus people died, like, now it's, it's an actual tragedy that is also somewhat funny because it's, like, what the fuck, but that's because I'm so divorced from that reality. It's been so many hundreds of years, everyone who knows them is dead, like, everyone who knew somebody who knew them is dead. Everybody who knew someone who knew someone who knew someone who knew them is dead. Like, it's been so long. There's nothing left of that person or those or persons or their kids or their grandkids or their great grandkids or their great great grandkids. It's like this doesn't feel as much. So I can laugh at it. Hmm. What's the South Park mean? Twenty two point uh twenty two point three? It's twenty two point three years. It's like, oh my god, we can laugh at AIDS now. Okay, you know what, uh, no, 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 don't use that garbage, use your katana. Wait, does it say a hundred? It did. 
What the fuck? Axel fucking bandit here. I'm gonna kidnap you, take you onto the acid rain, and drop you. Or not acid rain. Okay, there it goes. Yeah. Put down. Uh, this is just so bad to leave down, leave down. Okay, dump. Alrighty then, I think this place is- no it's not. No, it's not fully looted. Yeah. No. Uh, Glaceon, no. Uh, Sylvia, we found full trait. Trade with Espeon. One. As what was that? I. Think. It's all I. I Click something else. I'll go. I'll go with that. Trying to drag select when I was. Ah, uh, sir, and sure. Not entirely sure why this is ever lagging here. Oh wait, no, it's not in here. It's outside. That's why. Sure. Right. That's weird. Do I want stick? Not really, but I'll take stick. Dump all of this. Sure. Hold it off. We need to get up here and pick that lock. So, this is going to be interesting. Open. Yeah, I figured. Ooh, we got the good ones. Want those gears? We do want those medical supplies.
medical crates. More medical crates. More gear supply. Uh, map of the Aslan. Ooh. This is nice. Uh, come on. Yes, yes. Alrighty. We have got the Aslan Dome number four. So one, two, three, four. Then there's that one. It's, it's a ruined Aslan Dome. Who knows? And I think right about here is where the, the main base is. Uh, who will be the one to take all this? You, Espeon, come here. In the meantime, got capacitors, got crossbow parts, muscles. The muscles are worth a lot. Like, it's crazy how valuable they are. Alright. We want to look at these pretty carefully to see if there's anything hidden on them. The gear. I think there might be like a crate hidden in all of this. I mean, there kind of is. Alright. Great. Then where is... Okay, so you... Great. I think it was one of the robots. Nope, it's not as pink. Alrighty. That should be good. Uh, plus some of you are hungry. That's not good. That is really not good. Alright, we don't have a lot of raw meat. So... Doing this in real time so I can see if it instantly disappears and gives them another one. And the ones who are too far away. And yes, I did give some of them to robots, but you know what? They can be carrying capacity. It's in a backpack, so. That's fine. Oh. So, something I've always wondered is like, meat wraps. What type of meat wraps? 
because like every culture has their own, and this isn't exactly a super high, re- you know, res image. Like, is this like a Spanish, Mexican, you know, South American, whatever version? Was this like a burrito, or is this like a tamale? Is this like a dumpling? Is this like uh, an egg roll? Or spring roll or whatever. Like, what type of meat wrap are we talking about here? What flavor? Uh, Alright. I start over here. Pick that thing. Okay, lots of tech lab stuff. I'm not seeing any locked containers in there, but maybe I'm blind. Uh, these. Wait for the green. Yes, pick success. Pick success. Alright, so this is four saves. stuff. Then more lab stuff. I don't think I see any hidden crates. So the sneaky thing that I'll do is go hide a crate inside like an area where it's really hard to see it. And then you miss it. Alright, one at a time. Uh so, these things, in theory you could have something in the battery bank. I've never actually seen something in a battery bank. It could happen. I've never seen it. I don't think it... I don't think it actually happens. If you know otherwise, let me know. Because, look, well, it'd be a shame if I was missing it. And they'll just say, oh yes, yes, like, show me, a, like, some sort of proof. Show me, like, a, a screenshot or something, so I know you're not trolling me. <laughs> I don't want to be searching, like, every single, you know, container for this. Only to find out it's been a elaborate troll. Uh, move this. Alright, um, I don't have any other fours. I have that one, and that's it. So I can't use the space to make that fit. Although, oh, I could maybe find a way to make that fit. Um,. Right. Which means we have some space here. And you can go trade with Espeon. Alrighty. This is not going too bad. I'm surprised there's only a couple spiders. I expected there to be like a ton of spiders in here. Because think about it. Why didn't they come here and just kill all the spiders and destroy everything? Because there are fucking spiders and they scared the death of them. So you'd think there'd be enough spiders to actually dissuade them from doing stuff. But there seems to not be the case. Seems to be the case it's only a couple spiders. And they're just like noping out of like a tiny number of spiders which seems a bit ridiculous. That one. Um, I can probably 
benefit this. Probably fit that. And then there's a couple squares here. Uh, over here, I could probably fit some of these, right? It's five squares, five squares. And then it's four. Uh, I don't think I'm going to make that fit. Uh, I don't have anything else long and flat that'll fit in three to four squares. I do have something over here that would. And you, I could fit some stuff. Probably like toolkits and then the. That I've Four squares, I don't think I have anything at all that's four squares left. Alrighty. So, this floor is looted. Under this one. Floor is fully looted, right? Uh, can I check all the robotic lenses? I think I did. Check this, right? Double check all the containers. Ah, uh, yep, I did miss a book. Shame. I... I highly doubt these small beds will have anything at all. But I will check them. Yeah, the good stuff. Damn. Dude. This is like 6k. These are 3. <laughs> these are d almost 3. That's almost 3. That's 2k. These things are 25k. <laughs> like, holy shit. Uh, I guess Flareon first. Get rid of the robot kits. Holy shit. Alrighty. Okay. Then go to what? Espeon? Damn. That's good. That's just one of them. There's four of them. Ah. Yes. This is amazing. Okay, that's not as good. This is still good. Not as good. And this one's second best one. Alright, back down to Espeon. This makes it all worth it. Those four boxes over over a hundred K easy. Like easy. Easy. Uh dumb. Easy. Super easy. Hayaku. Lopo. <sighs> Iron copper stack. So it's definitely something we want in the pack animals. Something like this that doesn't stack matters a little bit less. Or this. You, you're good. And you're fast. So, you should all be empty, right? No. Um, yeah, you know, did I check this one? Yeah, yeah. Alright. Boot. 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 So some of them have meds, many of them have nothing. Just enough to make you check them all. 
and then tons of parts. Tons of value parts. Like skeleton muscles. Alright. This hall is amazing. Okay. Another one of those. Okay. Trade with Jumpion. Jump the rest. Let's actually all get in here. And trade with you. Jumpion. Alright. So, dump that in there. Can we dump the gears? No, we can't. Not sure why. Uh, we do want to remove all the meds. And probably these. And these. And this. And this. Alright. Starters med. Alright. Um that's garbage. So four squares here. That's garbage. Alright. They don't all fit. Uh, let's do it like this. We sold. Yeah. Uh, let's grab those. Because we have so many of them in the other one. And dump. But we can't. Alright. We don't follow these? We can't. Um. So this is where. We probably want to dump these. And ideally, in a way, that allows us to store some swords. Uh, so, do that, do that. Um, not perfect. We got like a lot of empty space here, but it'll do. Dump this. All right. Wait, nah, uh, here? What are we doing in the other one? Uh, I guess that, yeah, I guess we have to do it in that one. Don't have many people left. This, you two. Fuck. Did this thing again. <sighs> Jump on. Alright, we definitely want this here. We probably want all these. Alright. Three. Third floor. Sorry. This is like European, where it's like zero, one, two, instead of one, two, three. I started at zero, then I started at one. 
If it's the first floor, one makes sense, right? Right? Well, at least it's better than the Chinese thing, where it's like, let's skip number four and number 13, and... What are the other numbers? There's some other numbers. They skip four because it sounds like death, and 13 because it's like superstitious, and some cultures. What's, what's it like? Six or nine or some other number they were like, no, we don't like this number. I feel like there was. I feel like there was. So like some buildings you'll go into and it's like, how many floors? Well, I see a floor 20 at the top. Does it have 20 floors? No, it doesn't have 20 floors. It has like some, you know, like 14 floors or something, but they skipped a ton of them. <laughs> because they don't like that number and they don't like that number, so let's call the floor a different number. But it's not like they have an empty floor. It's not like there's a floor there and there's like this nothing there. It's like, no, the, the fourth floor is this, there's no number four and it's just number five, but it's, it's still the fourth floor. It's just renaming it, which is kind of silly, <laughs> in my opinion. But, you know what? Same could be said of all super systems. And I'm sure there are some I, I do that I just don't even think about because, like, my culture's... This, this is normal. Um... Let's see. What's something normal but super cis that you do in America? That, like, everyone does in America. Well, not everyone, but a lot of people are into the, uh... What do you call it? The, the star signs and all that. It's like, I'm a fish, I'm a pesky's, I'm a cancer, I'm whatever. And, like, I'm supposed to get along with these people and get along with those people. It's like, or the, uh... Like the INTP stuff, and it's like, that's literally the same thing. <laughs> and if you really look into it, the guy who came up with it is a fraud. Just trying to sell books. And it's, it's literally all that, like, oh, I'm a cancer, I'm supposed to get along with this group or that group or whatever. It's the same fucking thing. Same fucking thing. No hold. We will finish them all off. Wait. Oh, that's a friendly fire. I'd have to be like, who are you fighting? Well, if we can take out a holy nation city, we can take out a death banded camp. <sighs> Stables. I was easy. I feel almost like it's getting too easy. It's because, you know... It basically is. At this point... What can stop us? Uh... We're probably at the point we can start hunting down nobles. With their bodyguards and just... Fa taking them in a fair fight. Uh, all right, you have all of this. You probably trade with. Yes. So dump, dump, dump. That's garbage. Dump. All right. Um. What do? That uh, could go here. That would fit better. Um, there's a lot of space here for something. That maybe would fit a little better. Uh, something that's four wide would fit here a little better. Something that's three wide would fit a little better here. 
And you could move over. And you can play for something that's full wide. Get a little space. Uh, or I can also just do that. Uh, Hmm. But I think it's a two, I don't think it's a two. Uh, I've got fours, I've got threes. Three by three. That's it. Okay, it's not gonna reduce in any way that's useful. Um. Hmm. 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 Am I stuck? Can I, can I do any better than this? I don't think I can. Alright, so you're full. Wait, it's Jumpy on full? Jumpy on's not full. Right, I keep forgetting about that. I keep thinking Jumpy on's full, and I have no idea why. He was thinking all the pack animals are full, and they're clearly not. Alright. Jumpy on, come over here. Alright. Anyone carrying stuff? That's not the first couple people that I clicked on. I don't think so. Jumpy on trade. Uh, all right. All right. So this is a bandit uh, boss, and he has no bounty. I cry. If only he had a bounty, he would be worth something. And we could keep him alive and then sell him to be put to death. But no, no bounty. It is, like, one of the most frustrating things about these Death Bandits is they're fucking everywhere. But to loot them, you have to completely fill up your pack animals. It's just so frustrating. Like, I, c I cannot, like, loot a, a Death Bandit camp with one pack animal. You just can't. You can't do it with two. You know? It's just how much, like... It's ridiculous to go and try to find somewhere to put all this every time you raid a bandit camp. You end up just eventually saying fuck it and not raiding them because you don't want to loot them. Which is like... I mean, they're good loot. Like, for the amount of time and effort involved. It makes sense. It's just a hassle. Uh, not that. This, this, this. Did I say a high grade? I did. Ooh. A high grade bow. Classy. Come on. Come on. Alright. Uh, wait, is that everyone? Uh. Take the follow. Alright, we want to at least find the next place. Uh, how are we doing money? Almost 500k. We have a ton of loot. And we're, okay, so I'm gonna do two things. Alright. I'm going to find, but not go to, the place I was talking about over here. I'm not gonna, like, actually attack it. Okay, Elkring's shield. Alright, so this is it. It's a... We're gonna raid this next map. Oh. We, we need to get closer. Get a better... Like, this green shot. Elkring's shield.
I like it. I like it. I like it. Looks great. The plan in the background. Uh, and the random fucking sentinel coming to his desk. Is he actually... Is he going after the robot? What is he doing? I don't know. It's like a wandering trader. Sure. Anywho. So we have discovered that. That's kind of cool. That's not why we're here. That's not, you know. That is a... This is a cool little pit stop. You know. Teasing for the next episode. What we're really going to do. Is go see the Armor King. So. I have shown you all. The best place to get weapons. That is. Right here in Black Desert City. And the best place to get armor is the Armor King, who is also a ancient robot who's been doing this forever. Like, you know, everyone on, on the list of the best traders. There's always ancient robots who've been doing this forever. Okay, our line is slowly moving. Mantle is moving excessively slow, but he will get better eventually. He is training athletics and strengths. Alright. So, before we start swimming, who... I want everyone to be weightless if possible. You're weightless. You're moderate. We need to be less heavy. Anyone else have a lot of weight on them? Come loot. You're fine, really. It's this beep. Yeah, it's this beep. Beep trade with spot. Uh. You're now lightweight. Bot is weightless. And beep is weightless. Alright. They're technically overweight, but they're basically not overweight. Alright, we want to go here. Don't know why these guys aren't going. Come on. Go. Okay, some of you just refuse for some reason or another. That's okay. You can be lame. And see here, that is a robot walking underwater towards us. Let's see if we can click on him. Nope, we can't, apparently. I tried. We do not yet see the Armor King, but we are going in the correct direction.
there. That's it. And the Armor King is just full stop the best place to buy and sell armor. Well, buy. You can sell armor anywhere. They have money. And, oh, look, we have a ton of loot. What a surprise. Apparently, our best swimmer is, uh, RM Directory. Which is interesting. Trade. Armor King. Saving lives with armoring. <laughs> so, he's got some thralls. His thralls are pretty fucking scary. Do not mess with them. Do not steal anything. They will fuck you up. And if you look carefully, you'll see these things are fucking white. Alright? So, let's see. Who has the... Okay, so you have an Edgewalker, right? If you look at how white this Edgewalker is, right? Versus RM. Uh... Right? You look at how white this is. Alright, let me come over here. And look at how white this is. This is a whiter one. This means it's usually a higher grade. So it's probably... That was Edgewalker 1. This is probably Edgewalker 2 or Edgewalker 3. Alright, these are really fucking good planks. They will fuck you up. <laughs> they have 100 attack up. 84 defense. 90 strength. 99 dex. Like, these guys... They could probably take, you know, the holy, uh, nascent everything. Uh, this is a standard security spider, uh, level 2 one, but you know what I mean? Like, Armor King's boys, they, they don't mess around. And we have more people coming this way. They need to come this way and stop getting stuck. They don't get stuck. Stop getting stuck. Flaren is one I'm well, Flaren has food, right? Who let's see. We've got Flareon. Flareon has food that we don't really need to sell. And it looks like almost all the rest of them have caught up. And most of the good stuff is on Roboboop, right? Achilles and some of the others over here. So. Start selling. Alright. Beep is too far away. How about you? You're too far away. And I know uh, Robo Boop is too far away. How about W get? Okay, good. And some of the pack animals are close enough. Alright. So. No particular order because we are not concerned at all about money right now because we're going to buy some stuff. Go to Umbreon. Alright. <laughs> That's probably going to get getting rid of. Alright. So, lots of Masterwork stuff. Uh, he's got an Edgewalker 1 for that sword, which is pretty decent for Desert Saber. Um, he's got a Specialist Hood, another Specialist Armored Hood. What do you have for Blackened Chain Masterwork? Ooh. Uh, Masterwork Legs. Uh, what do you got for Masterwork Armor? Uh, Specialist... Alright, um, we do need a lot more good certs. So, this is the 6 kilogram of the 10 kilogram one, but it's still really good. Uh, black and chain, black and chain. i rather get full on male, but I will take what I can get. Uh,. These are kind of tempting. 
the main three that I don't like them, they don't have any acid protection. And they're very similar to these things. But no acid protection. They do a lot of cut resistance, just don't do a lot of blunt. It's kind of come just because, you know, the quality and they look cool. Oh, uh, that's a very good iron hat. How good is Green's iron hat? Nowhere near as good. Fuck that. Give him the iron hat. Uh, I wish he had more pants. He just had that one masterwork pant. Uh, which we will buy. Do we want that mer Do we want the mercenary plate? That's a tough quest. I'm going to say probably we want to get rid of the standard black plate. All right. So he has 200K now to buy our stuff. And what do you know? We have a lot of things to sell. Uh, sir, sell that. Is he close enough? He is. Ammo, crossbow. Sell. I think that everyone is now. Wait, no. Him. No, we'll sell those two too. So I think that everyone has stuff to sell. It's just the pack animals. And we really need more food. I think 15 is enough. Generator cores. Uh, sure. I'm not sure if we need those or not yet. I will keep some of these. I'm pretty sure, like, these we don't need. I definitely need the iron. I don't think we need that much stuff, but I'll keep it for now. I can sell it elsewhere. Uh, sell this, sell this, keep the engineering for now. That's because I think there's a few more things I wanted to get. Yeah, he's not even close to out of money. Not that. That's getting close. If I sold him those CP, those, uh, these, he'd just be, you know, out. He wouldn't even be able to buy them all. But I think we're gonna keep the tech, some of the, high, some of the higher, harder to get tech for now. And that puts him at 30 something K, right? Let's trade with you. Let's put all of this together in uh jump on. And then not worry about it, alright? Let's have you trade with Umbreon. Alright, Umbreon has the good shit. Uh everyone has a backpack, but not everyone has a good backpack. So he's got two specialist hoods. Uh, Beep has a masterwork one already. So, Beep is good. Uh, who do we want to give a really good hood to? Uh, Chad could use a better one. He gets hit in the head a lot. We also have two high ones. Uh, this one's standard. So, you're getting... I, you're too far away. Alright, so Bard. We'll give him a high. Are you close enough? You are. Wing Wing will give you a specialist.
So a lot of the humans, we prefer them to have these than these, even though these are a little bit more defense. Alright, when you could... Oh, you too far away. How about you? Are you close enough? You are. So when you compare them side by side, uh, this is a little bit less blunt, a little bit less cut, about the same efficiency and negligible harpoon resistance difference and one pound difference. The big difference is this is acid and burning protects and all this does it. So we would like all the humans to have this since they're weak to, well, humans and check, who are weak to acid. Uh, can you, you're close enough? You're not close enough. Alright, so, bombing ham, and, or the hops? No. It was Bard. Bombing hand and Bard need a helmet. Got it. Alright. You have mercenary plate, so we can replace that with a specialist plate. Authority 1. Alright. And... Who has not ideal armor? Lack and chain? Well, we can upgrade that. Oh, you know, Bard's too far away. Uh, you have a leather search. We can upgrade that real easy. We should really focus on people with leather. More so than chain. Yeah. It's a huge upgrade. Uh. I'll uh, give you that. Alrighty. So everyone's... Okay. Put the helmets over here. Put this over here. Alright. Um... I don't know what I'm doing. Alright. Everyone's been upgraded on shirts. We just gotta do legs. Uh, I'm taking Robo Boop to probably get the best legs. That's because he's sort of the original main character. We we can't have him dying on us. So who wants specialist legs? Uh, and we also got a high legs. Uh, too far away. How about you, Griffin? You know what? Is Griffin... Uh, what's Griffin's stats? He's got 73 athletics. He, he's working on strength. I think... Oh, okay. He's too far away. Uh... Bard is definitely too far away. Hobbs. How about Hobbs? You can take this. Alright. Can you take... That? You can. Not you... Okay, you're too far away. We still have a high and a high. Yes. And you have enough. Okay. So, we only have standards left. Alright. And then shirts. And then some of these for other people. Okay. So we just got the one specialist mercenary plate and then some high ones. Alrighty. You have a standard. Uh... How much weight? Mm, you're somewhat heavy. I don't think so. I think we'll keep that for now. You have standard and... You're not that heavy. And you could deal, deal, deal with some more strengths. Alright. You probably don't have very high strengths if that number is so low. Alright, so what do we have left? We just have some high stuff. Alrighty, so let's talk to Armor King real quick.
Go over to Umbreon. What do we no longer need? Uh, we probably don't need that standard hood. A lot of these uh, lower quality. If you want to keep all the leather shirts, I'll keep two of them. Um, there's two normal ones and that one I'm going to get rid of. And I think I'll keep these. Alright. So, that is probably enough. We now need to get everyone back over here, which is probably going to take a, like, in-game day. It's taking a long time for it to update, which is why I'm doing it like this. It's normal speed, in the hopes they will actually fucking move. Let's see, these guys aren't moving. That's a bit scary. They got stuck on something. Well, this is frustrating. This is very frustrating. I might. I don't know what to do here. They're not going more than a step. I can't see what the fuck is going on and why they're stuck. Or what they're stuck on. Or how to get them unstuck. in a circle. Like, they will not go outside of this tiny area. Come on. Eh? Come on. Alright. I know how to fix this, I just don't want to do it. What I'm probably going to do is there's a setting that allows you to unstuck people, but it means moving your whole squad. And I'm probably going to have to do that to get them out of here. Because I can't see what, why they're stuck. I can't see what underwater terrain somebody put somewhere that is getting them stuck. And I can literally just mindlessly click around and hope that they eventually randomly get out of it. Or I could just reload location data during the next save. This is probably what I'm going to do. But that'll be, that'll just put them in, I think, a random spot in the default area with, I think, it's border zone. It isn't that far away. But, uh, yeah, I'm, this is, I've never gone here and had this happen before. And because they're robots, they don't swim, they walk on the bottom. Which means they can get stuck on the train because, you know, some idiot's like, I have an idea. Let's put terrain under the water that you can't see. It's swimming. It's fine. But then they're like later, they're like, hey, let's make robots not swim. They're robots. They just sink, right? Okay. But there's terrain under the water. And they can get stuck on the train. Ah! So. Oh, well. That will be it for this episode. Next episode, uh, they'll be probably back in uh, a different location. I, I think there's a couple different default locations. I've, I've rarely done this, but you can like reset, reset the squad positioning, and it'll put them all in this new positioning, and that can help with getting stuck like this. And it can also help with uh, like weird bugs. That you get sometimes, well, like, anywho. So, 
Uh, that'll be it for this episode. To be continued. Another episode tomorrow. See ya.